My name is Major Eric Chaya. I'm a Special Forces Officer in the United States Army, and we'll be graduating from the Defense Analysis Department. Right, Major Ian McAlpine, also a Special Forces Officer, and then graduating from Defense Analysis Department, uh, looking at innovation. Ideally, what we want to do is figure out to what extent, you know, the Army specifically, but installations can sequester carbon. Uh, on their DoD installations using adaptive multi paddock grazing, uh, but we want to do that with cattle and a rather specific practice, uh, which I'll let Eric explain here shortly. But, you know, the real secret to it all is actually, you know, using these uh, nature-based solutions that you can see right here behind us. So we can unlock a, a suite of benefits utilizing regenerative agriculture, and we chose to focus on adaptive multi-paddock grazing, which is just using biomimicry to emulate the herds of bison and elk who once managed these lands uh, from the East Coast to the West Coast. So we believe that if we start looking at these practices, it's a nature-based solution that's going to increase warfighter proficiency, insulation resiliency, and bringing strategic value. And so how we manage these livestock matters, it saves time you know, for our service members, it gives our installation commanders an idea of how they can use nature-based solutions and also manage the land more effectively that also hopefully you know, brings about positive environmental effects as well. And for our installations, this is a effective way to increase water infiltration, to reduce erosion, to drought proof our installations, and minimize the risks of wildfires as well. It offers cost avoidance as well as cost savings. MPS has given me an incredible platform to not only think about some innovative or unconventional ways of land management, but also uh, the ability to reach out to the industry's best and brightest and receive a lot of input and direction from the practitioners who are doing this across the United States and globally. You know, having the opportunity to see, you know, the impacts of this type of management um, and, and really apply that to the places that we're going to travel to. I mean, frankly, we see the effects of positive and negative, you know, land management um, and what really happens at the grassroots level whether that's stability or instability, either way, this is a, a real lens that we need to look through to figure out our strategies as we work forward with our partners. Um, you know, NPS has, a, has been a great place to take ideas like this and really unpack them. The faculty, the staff, you know, the entire administration has done nothing but support us in our efforts to really come forth with a product and a concept that you know, we believe has a, a great deal of potential use for you know, the Army and potentially the Department of Defense at, at large.